From slinging sliders to serving up smackdowns, from flipping burgers to flipping competitors, there are plenty of colorful ways to describe a local restaurant manager's night job, but you might want to watch your mouth around it. News 13's Brittany Bade has his story. When the sun sets on his day job, it leads to lights out in the backyard practice ring. A lot of what you see hurts a lot more than you think it does. This relatively mellow man no, no, no. consistently goes from dishing out backdrops to serving up baby back ribs. I think one plays off the other a little bit. For the past 23 years, Joe Singer has dressed down and scruffed up. And I had long hair, uh, much younger then. To play the part of local wrestling legend. <laughs> Hobo Hank, even though he wasn't a fan at first. I begrudgingly did it, and it, it just worked so well. The fans loved it, and I've been doing it ever since. He long hoped his time between the ropes would be his full-time job. The main goal was to get into the WWE. The WWE did call, um, so I was on their short list for a while, and it, it just didn't work out. What has worked out well? is building a career as a manager at the Chili's on University and Gibson. There's definitely something to be said about charisma and leadership and, the, and charisma in the ring. So I think one plays off the other a little bit. It doesn't happen as often as it used to. There was a long time where we wrestled every weekend. But still, at least once a month, a mild-mannered manager transforms into an at times hostile hobo oh. who still has a lot of sundown brawls left in him. Brittany Bay, KRQE News 13. Hobo Hanks' next show is in Colorado at the beginning of November, and we have the tales. Just go to alwaysonkrqe.com.